The Ottoman Wars in Europe, also known as the Ottoman Wars or Turkish Wars, were a series of military conflicts between the Ottoman Empire and various European states dating from the late Middle Ages up through the early 20th century. The earliest conflicts began during the Byzantine-Ottoman Wars in the 13th century, followed by the Bulgarian-Ottoman Wars and the Serbian-Ottoman Wars in the 14th century. Much of this period was defined by Ottoman expansion into the Balkans and modern-day Serbia, which allowed the empire to gain a foothold in Eastern Europe. The Ottoman Empire made further inroads into Central Europe in the 15th and 16th centuries, culminating in the peak of Turkish territorial claims in Europe. There was a backslide in Ottoman military dominance after the unsuccessful siege of Vienna in 1529 and the Ottoman Habsburg Wars. European powers began to consolidate against the Ottomans and formed the Holy League, reversing a number of Ottoman land gains during the Great Turkish War of the late 1600s. This period was followed by insurrections from Christian peoples under Ottoman subjugation culminating in the Serbian Revolution and the Greek War of Independence. This occurred in tandem with the Russo-Turkish Wars and the Polish-Ottoman Wars, which rolled back much of the remaining Ottoman encroachment in Europe. The final pushback against Ottoman control came with the First Balkan War, followed by the signing of the Treaty of Chevres at the close of World War I. There remained some residual conflict following World War I, with Greece expressing discontent at its newly drawn borders and the Armenian people remaining in a state of conflict with the Turks following the ravages of the 1915-1918 Armenian Genocide. While the Treaty of Chevres granted full Armenian sovereignty, there was outrage that they were not granted land access to the Black Sea per the earlier promises of President Woodrow Wilson. Turkey had difficulty obeying some of the precepts outlined in the Treaty of Chevres, and broke its ceasefire against the Armenians almost immediately. This resulted in Turkey forcibly reclaiming some of its lost territory, and a weakened Armenia falling easily to Soviet occupation. Modern-day Turkish and Armenian borders were established during the 1921 Treaty of Moscow, with many contemporary Armenians still holding the territorial limitations to be illegitimate. Rise Byzantine Empire after striking a blow to the weakened Byzantine Empire in 1356, which provided it a basis for operations in Europe. The Ottoman Empire started its westward expansion into the European continent in the middle of the 14th century. Constantinople fell in 1453 after the Battle of Varna and the Second Battle of Kosovo. All of Greece fell in 1461. Bulgarian Empire In the latter half of the 14th century the Ottoman Empire proceeded to advance north and west in the Balkans, completely subordinating Thrace and much of Macedonia after the Battle of Maritza in 1371. Sofia fell in 1382, followed by the capital of the Second Bulgarian Empire Tarnovgrad in 1393, and the northwest remnants of the state after the Battle of Nikipolesh in 1396. Serbian Empire A significant opponent was the Young Serbian Empire, which was worn down by a series of campaigns. Notably in the Battle of Kosovo in 1389, in which the leaders of both armies were killed, and which gained a central role in Serbian folklore as an epic battle and beginning of bad luck for Serbia. Much of Serbia fell to the Ottomans by 1459. The Kingdom of Hungary made a partial reconquest in 1480, but it fell again by 1499. Territories of Serbian Empire were divided between Ottoman Empire, Republic of Ennis and Royal Hungary, with remaining territories being in some sort of a vassal status towards Hungary, until its own conquest.